Bloody hell, are we still doing these? Boom? Boom? Ah, there it is. It's Loot Crate time again, and this month the theme is something I can't quite remember. Something along the lines of combat, or fighting, or um, fisticuffs, or punchy punchy face -o, or something along those lines. I am hoping for some Street Fighter merchandise, and I'm pretty sure there is, because I vaguely remember seeing it mentioned in an email. I'm hoping for some Ryu underpants. Just what everybody wants. So... Hmm... Quite a rattly one this month, relatively light, um, fairly large box, although quite flat. There we are. That's my guesswork completely over with, without actually making any guesses at all. What we got inside... Oh, God. Well, that's thrown me for a loop already. What, what is this thing? Um, it's some sort of sunglasses with weird hat on that looks vaguely familiar, and I can't quite place it. Tell us what it is. Shredder? Sh oh no, I wasn't thinking of Shredder from Ninja Turtles at all, I was thinking of something else. And I still can't place it, and that's going to annoy me for hours. Anyway, let's move along. So it's a pair of sunglasses that are screwed... A pair of cheap sunglasses screwed to like a plastic frame. Oh, that came out easily. Um, and it makes you look a bit like sh Shredder. Mm, that's, that's a kind of weird novelty thing, because it's not something you're going to get any use out of whatsoever. Nobody's going to go out in public wearing those, are they? You'd look like this. <laughs> nope, that's a bad start. Not impressed with that at all. Come on then, let's get the Funko Pop thing out of the way. Ooh, I've seen something I'm far more interested in there. Blizzard Entertainment, cute but deadly! Oh, for God's sake, here we are, completely out of character stuff. Well, we've got Kerrigan from Starcraft, Arthas from... Uh, Warcraft, Sylvanas is Warcraft, isn't he? Zeratul, I think it's Starcraft again. There's a Murloc, there's nothing like a Murloc at all. Diablo and the Loot Crate exclusive, different Murloc. And then there's another different Murloc, and then there's a different Arthas or something. Ugh. Ugh. Go on then. Mm -hmm. oh, can't we just stop having these bloody cutesy frickin' figurines? They're bloody everywhere. Right. Oh, it's in a bag, so it can be easily microwaved. Um, where do we... Is there a notch to get into it? There we, there we are. It is Sylvanas. There she is, looking all elfy and incredibly top-heavy. Well, the detailing's good. I mean, it's much more interesting than a bloody Funko Pop or a Mighty Mugs or anything like that, I suppose. Um, does it have a stand or something? I feel it should. Oh, no, hang on. There is a thing. Sorry to headphone users, that's probably deafened you there. Um, here's the stand, so it goes on like that. I spotted a hole in the cape, you see. And there's this crest thing with antlers, that's nice. Where does this go then? In her hand, one would assume, so it probably doesn't actually. I don't know, because the sellotape is so powerful it's actually ripping the plastic to pieces. Marvellous. Where does this go? Yeah, it's in the hand. Okay. I don't see how that actually attaches. Oh, there's like a claw thing. Oh, I've got it right. Clippity clippity. I said clippity clippity. Yeah, I can't be bothered to work that one out in a second. But there we go. It's a big headed, miserable lead singer of Evanescence. <sighs> Bloody things. Right, I'm very interested in this next one. I am a sucker for coins and pins and metal things. And this is a rather nice mocking jade one. I don't think it's not the one she gets in the film. Uh, originally, is it? Because that's like a round one with uh, the sort of mocking J in it. Is this one they use later, perhaps, to show their members of the resistance? I don't know. I don't remember that from the last film. I haven't seen the new one yet. Go on, then. What's this like? I really do like these pins. Hang on. I'm going to move this remote control I've put on the table. It's making annoying clicking noises, so that's better. Um, this is actually very nice. Very nice indeed. Big bit of metal. Yeah, feels quality. Don't know, you'd have to be quite a fan of the Hunger Games to wear it. And the varnish on it is a little OTT, it's a little bit too um, sort of glossy for my liking, but uh, still really, really nice. I do like these things. That is right up my alley. Thank you, lads. And what's next? I can see it quite easily, and you probably can from where you are. From Vault 111, it's a Vault Boy bobblehead, you know, like we got with the special edition of um, Fallout 3 many, many moons ago. Vault Boy Bubbleheads will permanently increase your skills and stats. Marvellous. Loot crate. Why are all the Fallout games so similar, by the way? They're always set um, with somebody leaving a vault uh, in America. I, mean, I know the sort of Americana thing is uh, 
you know, very integral to the series. But I feel it's been kind of done to death now. Couldn't we have one in China or some other place where people have survived? I don't know. Doesn't really matter, does it? Now I've got to try and open this goddamn box, preferably without destroying it. Um, just in case it's shit and I want to put it on eBay. Um, come on. Come on. Ah, jump cut. Well, that took far too long. Should have remembered to bring a knife. Right, what's it like then? Ah, it's pretty generic as they go. Looks very, very similar to the ones we got from Fallout 3. I can't remember, though. Got rid of mine years ago. Well, it's a bobblehead. It's the Fallout Boy. And there's his head going. I always want to call him Pip-Boy, if that's the thing you put on your arm, isn't it? Man, you'll get that whiplash seen to, mate. That's not going to do you any good long term. Well, there we are. It, it does exactly what it is. It's a thing you find in the game, and he's in a generic pose, and it's quite a pretty thing. If you like your Fallout, and let's face it, most of us do, because it is a very nice world they've built. Um, yeah. He agrees. Well, what's next? Uh, the Gift of Geek from Loot Crate. Ooh, hoo, hoo, this is interesting. Might be a code. I'm going to open it off screen. What the blithering fuck? They're just tags that you can put on presents you're giving to other people? What? Why would you want fucking Loot Crate? Gift of... what? Hash... what? At Loot Crate, we try to make our crates a special gift you'll enjoy. Using these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love with your geeky friends and family. Re-gift your loot to someone who will love it as much as we love you. What a load of nauseating fuck shit. Um, so... Basically, they're saying, if there's something in here you don't want, which, I'll be honest, it would very much be this for me, I can stick this on it and give it to somebody else. Alternatively, I could put a tag on it that doesn't look like some, you know, ripped-off bloody bit of old tat, and um, then they might not even realise it came from a loot crate. Anyway, what's next? Oh, good. Cute but deadly. What are these fridge magnets, by the looks of it? Yeah. Great. Uh, fridge magnets with big, ugly borders around them uh, that are just the designs from... Uh, the little bobbleheady thing there. That's better. Stupid badge nobody cares about. It's got a picture of a Fallout style old bus. Thanks, lads. Magazine nobody gives a monkey's toss about. Blah, 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 blah. And finally, oh god, no, it came back to haunt me. No. Hang on, there's Ryu on it. Where is my Street Fighter? Oh. Well, I asked that one, and in it came. Street Fighter Hyper Looting, one of Udon's comics, number one. Apparently, is this a uh, some sort of cover variant or something, an exclusive one? I don't know. Oh, Street Fighter comics, really? I don't know. As much as I love the games, I don't think the characters really um, spread themselves out into other media that much, do they? Um, I remember the old um, animated film is probably the best. Good God. And they've tried various other versions over the years, but they've all been pretty terrible. Come on then, I want to quickly flick through this and I can't get into the goddamn bag. It's a bit of a very high security bag in general, in fact. Really should have brought the knife. God almighty, what is this made out of? There we are. Screw you, cellophane. You loot well, whatever it is. I think there's maybe something they build space shuttles out of. Right, what's it like? There they are, looking all street fightery without many... Well, I'm not interested in that at all. Damn it! I want something street fiery that I liked. I don't think a comic's really that good. And that's it. Wow. And there's some uh, little diorama style thing you can make out of the box there. That's a uh, surprisingly low amount of items. Um, well, it's, this is just absolute fucking bobbins, so we'll ignore that. Really, it's just three items that are actually of interest there, I think. Um, I'm going to discount the comic, because... Um, it don't look that great. I'll read it later, I suppose, when I've got eight seconds to spare. Bobblehead's good. Uh, Mockingjay Pin's very good. I like that kind of thing. And if you like this, then A, seek help, and B is one of those. And that's kind of your lot. Hmm. I don't know. I think for something that's, you know, produced in such high numbers as this, I would expect a few more things, really. I don't know. I mean, they're of good quality, I suppose, but I don't know. Who wants to buy some kind of mystery box that doesn't have many items in it but still costs a lot of money? Oh. Oh. Right. Let's move on to Super Geek Box, because they sent me another one for some reason. Maybe they're sending one every month. I don't really know. I don't keep track of these things because I have far too much fucking admin to do. And this one exploded. <laughs> Literally. I'd, well, I'll show you. 
it's there's like some giant um, foam thing in it, and it arrived fine. Um, you know, just on the doorstep as anything. You can see I haven't undone the cellar table, cut it or anything. Um, I just came down a couple of days later and it had gone like this. It's like the inflatable thing decided to escape. So I'm quite interested to see what it is. That's it. I've spotted uh, something that was like venom. Yeah, that's interesting. Right. Uh, that's a jar. Ah, I see what you've done here. So rather than the big inflatable we're number one hand, not inflatable, um, foam, we've got a foam chainsaw. So yeah, put your hand in there and wave it around and probably be arrested at any major sporting event. Well, that's interesting because it's a far bigger item than you'd expect to get in a box like this, which is probably why it kind of blew up. But hey, it's about the transit, that's the important thing. Um, oh, that's all right. What else have we got? We have got this. Which I, that's got to be Venom, surely. Villainous Cloak of Chaos. Super Geek Box wearable series. See instructions on your... Hmm, what? Cloak of Chaos? Is this a reference to an anime or something or whatever? What sh I am not aware. I don't know. Oh, man. I really should have gone bloody jumped out and got the knife, shouldn't I? Ah. Right. We're in. We're in. It is... Uh, well, that's a cloak. It's a very small cloak. Oh, hang on. It's opening up a bit. That's not a cloak. That is a neckerchief or similar. Yeah, you could wrap it around your face and then look all scary, dribbly, tonguey. Marvellous. Well, I'll check the instructions for that. Oh, what's next? An onion-headed person looking a bit miffed. It's all sort of stitched together loosely. He looks really displeased with something or other. The miffed onion. A new one. Does he smell of anything? Oh, he does! Fuck, smells really strongly. Of like some sort of floral thing. I was, I was sort of joking about with that, but then what is this, Funko? Yeah, oh good. <laughs> now we make soft things as well as those interminable pops. Mopies. Oh, I see he's moping plush. Well, is it, is it a time or something? Or the Nightmare Before Christmas? What? What the fuck is that from? Holy shit, is that supposed to be Oogie Boogie? He was just like a giant sack of something, not a sort of onion-headed win. Oh man, by <laughs> sort of going the super deformed route, you've totally changed what it is. It looks completely like a nothing. I, I, uh, well, well, it's quite a cute thing, but you'd never recognise that as Oogie Boogie, would you? Ever. Not in a million t squillion years. No, oh, it's, it's beautifully high quality, but oh, oh, how odd. Right, next up, shirt of the tea. What's on it? Wah, wah, wah. And it's kind of the Joker crying whilst a bat and a robin, literal ones, laugh at him because he's broken his funny bone. Fuck me, that's weird. That's that's really odd. It looks like he's kind of being bullied by animals with a broken arm, but he's kind of the Joker. But hmm, that's odd. Really high quality shirt, I must say, but that's very, very strange. Um... Yeah, not one I would be wearing myself, uh, which is a shame. These shirts seem to be slightly higher quality than the ones you get in Loot Crate, but uh, I don't know. I haven't washed them enough to know for sure. And uh, next up is... Oh! Uh, ho, ho, ho! This doesn't smell of anything at all. It just got it from this air freshener. <laughs> that explains... Oh, it's really powerful. That is a Dead Pixels air freshener. And, uh, mm, I wonder what game that comes from. Mm, I think it's from Batman Arkham City. Yes. Good grief. Well, there's a famous little bit of pixel art for you. Very nice too. Um, stick it in your car, have it uh, wobble around, hit you in the eye, you crash into something, you die, and kill a young family. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? And that's your fucking lot by the looks of it. What? Oh, apparently the theme was chaos. Oh, I didn't realise they themed them. Bloody hell, I just looked up beforehand. Um, yeah, badge, nobody gives a shit about, and little leafleting thing. What's the, what's the deal with the thing? Oh, I could have had the dog! Oh, the dog works! The dog's quite cute. Yeah, that doesn't work so well. And that one, yeah, who is it? It's nice, but it's not anything. Um, cloak of chaos, become chaos itself. Yeah, you, you can't call it a cloak when it's something you wrap around your face. That's not what a cloak is. And Pop Rocks. One of three... What? Where's my Pop Rocks? Who has eaten my Pop... Oh, God, maybe they... Maybe the Pop Rocks were on top of the... <laughs> in uh, foam thing there, and they flew out when it um, came up. Am I missing anything else? Pop Rocks, shirt... Blah, 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 blah. No, well, they're just sweeties. Anyway, they tend to go a bit sticky and weird when sweets are sent uh, internationally anyway, but... Oh, 
Well, that's disappointing. I don't know if mine are just missing or, um, well, it's probably uh, somewhere in the house on the floor. I shall look later, but we all know what pop rocks are like. Again, not very many items this time, um, which, you know, is a disappointment if you're buying a mystery bag full of uh, stuff. Anyway, this month we have a third box, as we seem to have quite a lot recently. I'm more interested in this than usual for the simple reason that it's something a bit different. Munch Pack, which apparently is just a load of um, imported sweets and snacks and stuff, I would presume. It's remarkably heavy as well. A detailed description of contents are chips, cookies and candy. Mmm, what more could you want? Uh, probably is something to drink, I don't know. But that's not a sensible thing to send abroad. So. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to make of this one. I have yet to open it up. I imagine there's a few bits and... Ooh, oh, I've seen beef jerky already. I'm happy. Right, there's a bit of tissuey, papery stuff. This munch pack was made just for you, just... My name's... Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I just read that as this munch pack was made just for you, Justin. It's by Justin. Thanks, Justin. We applaud your sterling efforts. Enter to win a free munch pack. Um, yeah, uh, whatever's... Bloody hell, there's tons of stuff! Oh, bloody... Bro wow. Well, that's good. But, um, oh crikey, um, well this is going to take forever to go through. I think we're going to have to do quick cuts, like some sort of crazy vlogger, right? Ready, set, go. Jack Link's Premium Cuts, Original Hickory Smokehouse Beef Jerky, really, really nice. I do love beef jerky in general, and this stuff seems to be really, really good. Um, much tougher than the stuff you generally get here, even from the same make, but uh, extremely, extremely nice. Vidal, presumably not Gore Vidal, Watermelon Slices, um, are very nice. They're just little, uh, sort of squidgy sweets that taste of watermelon they've got sugar on them. They're nice. Nutty Max Milky! Looks exactly like Kinder Bueno um, and tastes exactly like cheap Kinder Bueno. The uh, milk stuff inside is much tougher, not quite as nice, and the wafer tastes cheaper than Kinder Bueno. Look, basically stick to Kinder Bueno is what I'm saying. Amir Uzi, no idea how you pronounce that, tamarind candy artificially flavoured. Um, it's very sweet and tastes vaguely vegetable-y. Um, it's alright. Strawberry flavoured, Japanese style, mochi or mochi. How are you going to pronounce it? I'm going to pronounce it mochi. I don't remember hearing anybody else say it out loud. And my Japanese isn't very good. Um, yeah, I'm not a particular fan of these things, but this is probably the nicest one I've had. Probably because it's strawberry flavoured instead of weird melon or whatever they usually have. Garlic green peas. These are incredibly garlicky. I mean, really over the top. I mean, imagine eating one of these will give you bad breath for about 300 years. Oh no, too garlicky. Horrible. Ugh. Pirate's Booty, oi oi, aged white cheddar, baked rice and corn puffs. Um, frankly, these aren't very good. They taste very faintly of cheese, but mostly of just sort of nothingy corn something. They, they, they're a bit like things you pack a bloody parcel in. Not impressed with those at all. Lotta, or Lottie maybe, um, sesame harvest cracker. I was expecting these to be savoury, but no. Uh, they're covered in sugar. And yeah, they're little biscuits covered in sugar that taste of sesame. They're nice. Ah, uh, it's Pocky, the bane of every convention ever. Um, green tea cream covered biscuit sticks. Absolutely disgusting. They taste of tea and I hate tea. Um, but if you like tea, you might like these. There we are. There's a review. Here is pucker, innit, mate? These are chocolate biscuits, but in a reverse of the usual biscuit formula. The biscuit is on the outside and the chocolate is on the inside. Um, they're quite nice. And finally, I've saved these for last because frankly they look confusing. I thought I'd do them on camera. Slaps lollipops. But yet there's your sweet smile from Pigui. Um, tamarind blue. Um, so it's mighty tamarind again. And yeah, it's some sort of weird. Oh, there's two of them in here actually. I only want one. Calm down. Um, right. Let's do this. Oh, hang on. There we are. This will have to do. Oh, do, do, do. no. Right. Oh, they're all stuck to each other. Ah, oh, it's weird. Right. Okay, I'm going to go for this one. And it's like a giant <laughs> squashed up sugar thing. And it says on the back, you can fold it as you want. Doblala como quieras. Marvellous. Um, so I'm going to fold it in a way that can maybe fit on camera. So I'll do it in halves like that. There we are. Marvellous. That's also a bit thicker and will be easier to eat as a direct result. Can't get off the bloody backing paper. Oh, here we go. Oh god, this is the stickiest. You wouldn't give these to your bloody kids. You'd be cleaning it up for a million years. Right. Um, blimey. Well, there we are. That looks like a shard of glass that's just been picked out of somebody's face after a particularly bad car accident. What does it taste like? Mm. Mm. Very sugary. Um, that slight sort of vegetable taste you get with tamarind. 
It's basically sugar with a hint of tamarind. This is probably a great way to destroy your teeth. So there we are, that be all the food stuff. So I've got to say, you get an awful lot for your money. A lot of bang for your buck there. Unlike certain mystery devices I could mention. Oh. Subscribe for more.